Hi, I'm Tyler from LifeStraw, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your LifeStraw Max. In your box, you'll find your LifeStraw Max, a carbon filter, your backwash hose, your user manual, and the setup sheet. Around your Max, you'll find your hose adapter and your backwash port. And on the front of your Max, you'll find your backwash dial, drinking dial, and tap. On the top of your Max, you'll find four locking tabs. You can pinch those together and you'll be able to take the lid straight off. Inside your Max, you'll find your pre-filter, two membrane ultra filters, and where your carbon filter will go in a moment, this is just the housing, it's not pre-installed. To get into your carbon filter to set it up, pull these two tabs back here, one and two, and you'll be able to lift the filter bridge straight up. If you can get your hands in and open up the top, you can put your carbon filter straight in. If you can't do that for whatever reason, your carbon filter housing comes out very easily. Carbon filter. It'll come pre-packaged in a little bag. Don't open this up, don't cut this open until you're ready to use your Max. One side of your Max carbon filter will have a little silicone o-ring on the top. That should be on the top. Slide that straight down, grab your cap, and tighten it down. When you're ready, put your filter bridge back down, line up all your filters, and there you go, carbon filter is installed. Place your lid back down, pull your locking tabs in place, and now you're ready to go. All right, so first time using your Max, you're gonna to wanna to go through at least one backwash procedure. What you'll need for that, grab your gray backwash hose and attach it to the end of the orange backwash outlet. Have the end of the hose placed somewhere. I'm in the studio right now, it's in a bucket. If you're using it out in the wild, have it aimed away from where you're gonna drink your water. Depending on where you are, you're either going to take your adapter off and thread your hose straight on. If you're in the States, you will need the brass adapter that's already attached to your Max. Once you have your hose and hose adapter snugly attached to your Max, you're ready to go through your first backwash procedure. On the front, make sure your drinking dial is set to open. Have something to catch the first batch of water. Set under the tap. Turn your backwash dial to position one. Wait for 30 seconds. Go to position two. Wait for 30 seconds. Go to position three. You guessed it, 30 seconds. Water should start coming out of your backwash hose at this point. The whole point of this procedure is any like dust or debris that would be in your Max and air, uh, this is going to purge it from the system and make sure that clean water is coming through. Position four, 30 seconds, and back to zero. Water should start flowing if it hasn't already. This first batch of water is gonna be a little bit dirty. You're gonna wanna get rid of that. The whole purpose of this backwash procedure is to make sure that we get rid of any debris, dust that might've been in your Max, air, and make sure you get nice clean water. When you're done, turn your dial back to off. Discard this first batch of water. And your Max is all ready to use. If you're using your Max every day, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that everything on it is fastened down snugly. Otherwise, you're gonna get some leaks. First step is your hose and your hose adapter. Make sure they're tightly fastened together, otherwise you're gonna get some leaking. Second thing is your pre-filter cap. Make sure it's fastened down all the way. It'll stop turning when it's done. 
on the inside, you have your filter bridge and your three filter cartridges. Make sure that your filter bridge is all the way down. Um, if you notice any leaking around any of your filters, it might be time to replace or reseat those filters. When you're ready to use your Max, make sure you have a cup or something ready. You turn your drinking dial to on and you have your backwash position to zero. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. When you're done using your Max, turn the water off and make sure your water source is off as well. If you're using your Max regularly, you're going to wanna to do the backwash procedure regularly. If you're using your Max once a day, try and do the backwash once a day or when you start noticing a reduction in flow rate. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing some tips on how to clean and store your Max. The most important thing is regular backwashing. It's important not only when you see a reduced flow rate, but each and every time you use your Max. That could be once a day, once a week, doesn't matter, regularly backwash your Max. There's a few other times you might wanna backwash. One, if you clean your pre-filter, or if you change any of the three filters, you're always gonna to wanna to run a backwash procedure. Also, if your Max has been in storage and you haven't used it in a while, you're gonna to wanna to backwash it to get it started back up. Now let's show you how to clean your pre-filter. Make sure your water source is turned off and your dial is turned to off as well. Carefully, slowly, remove your pre-filter cap, set it to the side, have a soft bristle brush ready for cleaning. Lift your pre-filter from your Max, take off the top cap, and with some clean water, no soap please, carefully brush your pre-filters to remove any debris that might be stuck inside. When you're done, reattach the cap, Lower into the max. And tighten your cap all the way until it stops. Quick reminder, anytime you clean your pre-filter, make sure you do a backwash procedure. Long-term storage. If you're not gonna be using your max for a few weeks, a few months, there's a few things you're gonna wanna do to make sure your max stays safe. First things first, Make sure your water is disconnected or at least off and make sure that your drinking dial is set to off. Go ahead and take your lid off. What we're doing here is we're taking out all three filters and storing them safely. First thing we need to do that, take off your filter bridge, set it off to the side. Doesn't matter the order. But we have our two membrane ultra filters. Slide them out and up. They might have a little bit of water left in them. So do this in a place you don't mind getting wet. Carbon. Remove the cap. Remove the carbon. Make sure that this dries out completely. Place it in a resealable bag, again, in a cool, dry location. And that's it. Whenever you're ready to start using your Max again, reinstall your carbon. And both of your membrane ultra filters, making sure that they are firmly placed on the bottom and top. Replace the filter bridge, snapping in the location, and 
you're ready to go. After everything's reinstalled, make sure you do a backwash. And during storage, don't keep anything below freezing. Eventually, you're going to need to replace the filters in your Max. First things first, make sure your water is disconnected and your water dial is set to off. Next, open up your lid. Over here is your filter bridge. Go ahead, unclip that and set it carefully to the side. First thing we're gonna do is show you how to replace your membrane ultra filters. Always replace them as a pair. What you're going to do is slide them out and up. Out and up. And these are both full of contaminants so they can be discarded. When you get your new membrane ultra filters, they're gonna go in the exact same way that the other ones came out. Down and in. Make sure they're seated at the bottom and at the top properly, otherwise you're gonna get some leaks. Take your filter bridge, clip it down. Now, pretty much the exact same thing if you're changing a carbon filter. Pop your filter bridge up, place it to the side, you don't need to take the housing out for this. Just open up the cap. Take the spent carbon cartridge out. Take the new one in. And tighten the lid. And place your filter bridge down until you hear the snap. Quick note. Anytime you replace either of your filters, the membrane ultra filters or the carbon filter, make sure you do a proper backwash. Second thing, if you're replacing your membrane ultra filter, reminder, they both need to go. They need to be replaced as a pair. Please enjoy using your Macs.